What's up YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm gonna to show you how to install the Anytime backup camera. Um, I also opted for the front facing camera as well, which you can view at any time just by hitting a switch. So pretty neat little add-on. I'm gonna show you how to get it installed. Tons of wiring with this kit. A lot, if you're not familiar with running wiring, it can be a little intimidating. Lots of wiring, and I've seen a lot of reviews online, people having trouble getting it installed. You know, they're, they're just not connecting the right wiring and right um, uh, harnesses behind the radio. So I figured I'd throw, throw together the video showing you how to get it installed. It's really honestly not that bad. I'm gonna show you all the components of the kit and then I'll, uh, I'll lay it out all on a table for you. Um, again, just to kind of simplify it the best I can. Um, just for anybody who's not very familiar with running running wiring. It really is not that bad of an install So just wanted to show you what it's capable of again anytime backup camera doesn't matter if, it, if you're in drive forward. I'm sorry reverse um, Park it doesn't matter you can hit the switch to the back view your rear camera or if you want Again doesn't matter what you're doing. Just click it to the front and you can view your fr uh, front camera there. So again, pretty nice little feature. So let me show you everything it comes with and then we'll uh, get started with the install. I'll break it all down for you. So let's, let's get it done. Okay, when you get the package from Anytime Backup Camera, this is the bag that it's gonna come in, just like this. All of the components that I'm about to show you are gonna be in this bag. It's got some stickers on it. Um, the top one shows you like what each wire does, what it's for. Mine's for a 2020 Platinum, obviously. It just says 2020 on it. And then down here, it gives you um, a little bit of information about the size hole you have to drill to mount the camera and so forth. So that's the package it's gonna come in. So let me show you all the components. This long extension, RCA extension, this is the piece that's gonna be run from the front of the truck up in the camera, um, connecting to the camera, and then um, it through the firewall into the truck to behind the radio. So it's got two yellow RCA connections on it. Each end has um, red wiring on it. It's pigtail, a red pigtail on each end. I'll show you what they're for. Next is gonna be this connection here. It is gonna come just like this. This is how you're gonna take it out of the package. It's actually two pieces, but they connect two of the RCA um, connections for you. So you'll take it out just like this. It's the relay, and then the wire, one of the wiring harnesses that um, plug into the back of the radio. It's got a blue and a gray wire coming off of this end. Over here, the relay, it has an empty RCA, a disconnected RCA spot which I'll show you and then a green and a black wire so that's what that piece looks like next is this um, piece right here that's also gonna plug back in I'm sorry plug into the back of the stereo on the Tundra this one has an orange and a red wire on it and again I'll show you where they go next up um, the camera itself this is what the camera piece looks like here it's got a little little black connection on the end that goes to this piece here it's got a red and a yellow RCA connection on one end and then the other end is just a black piece that connects to the camera then you have this piece here that's got one end is a black and a red wire the other end is just like a, an RCA jack connection I'll show you where that goes and then of course you have the switch itself um, the switch Pick a spot where you want to mount it in the truck. And then the wiring harness for the switch, excuse me. Um, the wiring harness for the switch, six different wires coming off the back. I'll show you um, what each and every one of them do. So a lot of wiring can be a little intimidating, but I'm gonna show you, I'm actually gonna break it all down and put it on the table for you. I'm basically. All right guys, I have all the wiring laid out on the table here, how it's actually gonna be connected and ran through the truck. So. Let's, let, let me show it to you like this before we actually start installing in the truck to hopefully, again, make this as simple as possible so you can get this connected the right way. Um, so this long RCA extension piece that I showed you that has the two yellow jacks and the two red pigtails, let's pretend this is the front of the truck out here with the camera. This is inside the truck behind the radio. Okay, so this long piece that has the yellow RCAs and the red pigtails, that's going to be run through your firewall again up to the camera and then back into the radio so let's start up at the camera and i'll show you how it's all connected and, and ran in order so of course you have the camera that comes down to this piece here so you have the camera comes down to this piece here the yellow and the red extension the rca extension that connects to the camera on that end 
Then the next piece is, again, that one's got a jack on it, the jack connection right there, and then it has the red and black wiring on the other end. The RCA jack is gonna go into the red port there. And then this long yellow piece that has the red pigtails, one end is gonna go into the yellow female end of that piece that I just showed you. Now the red pigtail that's coming off of that end is going to connect to the red wire that's coming out of this piece here that we connected to the red. So again, red pigtail, red wiring, connect those two, however you wanna do it. I'm gonna use the butt connectors, which I'll show you. That's what I use to make all my wiring connections for all my LEDs. However you wanna do that, that's where you connect. Now the black wire that's coming off of this extension that we put into the red RCA, the black wire there has to be run to ground. I'm probably just gonna take that directly to the battery since I'm gonna be under the hood anyway on this end. Um, but so that black wire has to be run to the ground. So that's how you connect all the wiring that's up in front of the truck. Then again, you have this long wiring that's gonna be run inside to the truck. So now on this end, let me disconnect everything and we're just, I'm just gonna show you from scratch. So this is the other end of that long wire that we have connected, the RCA extension. Again, this side has that red pigtail as well. So this end, you're gonna take the female end, the third RCA jack, the one that was not connected to anything when you opened up the package, take this end of the extension, plug it into that third RCA jack that comes off of the relay. So you're gonna connect it just like that. Now the, this red pigtail, you're gonna connect that to the green wire from the relay this is the only part of this whole process that you're going to connect wiring of different colors so you take the red pigtail green wire from the relay green wire from the switch here's the switch so again green wire from the switch green wire from the relay red pigtail those three you have to connect again however you want to do it solder butt connector whatever you want to use so that's where those three wires go to now the black wire from the relay and the black wire from the switch also have to be run to ground. You do not have to connect these together. You can run them to separate ground if you want. For me, it just makes it easier to connect them. So what I did was, or what I'm going to do is, again, black wire from the relay, black wire from the switch, connect them. And then you're going to have to, I have extra wiring here. I do a ton of wiring. So I'm just going to run a piece of wire from this, from these two blacks, to another ground, which I'll show you. I know I already know where I'm going to ground it in the truck, and I will show you that once we start doing the install. All right, so again, two blacks, black from the relay, black from the switch, connect those two together. Don't have to, but it's the easiest way, and then run an extra wire um, to a, a ground, which I will show you. So then on the back of the switch, that only leaves four other wires, the blue, gray, orange, and red. Cannot mess this part up. So we're gonna come over to here to these two pieces that are gonna be plugged in the back of the truck. The one has the blue and the gray wire hanging off. You're just gonna run that blue and gray to the blue and the gray on the switch. The other harness has that orange and the red wiring coming off the back. You're just gonna run that red to the red on the switch and that orange to the orange on the switch. That's it, that's all you gotta do. All right, so hopefully that makes it simple for you i will of course i'm going to walk you through this as i'm doing it in the truck i just thought this might make it a little more simple to have it laid out just like this before we do anything i'll show you where i'm going to mount the relay and uh, again i'll show you those grounding points so hopefully that helps so let's go ahead and uh, get in the truck and we'll, we'll start getting this thing installed Okay, in case you didn't see my video on how to tear apart the dash, um, uh, if you want to see that, I'll actually put a link up in the corner of your screen. Um, you can check it out after you watch this video, of course. <laughs> but to get this um, centerpiece removed and at the back of the radio, all you're going to do is pop open your console, get this out of the way, and then you're going to get underneath the lip, right up underneath here, pry tool or sometimes it's even loose enough you can do it with your hands i'm going to use a pry tool and you're basically just going to pop that up you are going to have to take your shift knob off so let me do that real quick just set that aside and get my pry tool and get up underneath here so you're again you're just going to pry there's no screws or anything holding this piece in place so just get your pry tool up underneath there and pop it up like that it can be on there pretty tight as you can see and then this whole thing will just slide right out of the way here. 
set that over out of the way. Next up is the piece down here under um, with the um, the power out. I'm sorry, the cigarette lighter, uh, that panel down there. Again, you're just going to take. I'm actually going to use a smaller pry tool for this part, but right here where it separates at the top between this panel and that panel, just get your pry tool underneath there. And just kind of slowly work your way from side to side, loosen it up. And then once you get it to a certain point, you can just take your fingers, maybe not. There we go. And then this piece will pop out. You do not have to disconnect it. Just let it hang there. There's, you know, you're not putting much um, pressure on the wires or anything. So you can just let that piece hang there. This next piece here with the climate control on it, you, you may have two or three knobs there, but basically just grab it and pop it out. It's just held in by clips. Mine, I'm not sure if they all look like this, but on the, on the platinum with the dual climate control, there's just one wiring harness on the back that you could just unclip like that. Set this piece aside. Next up is the radio itself. Make sure you have, basically all we're gonna do is, there's four 10 millimeter bolts um, that hold this in place. So make sure you put a towel or something on your dash, because all we're gonna do is gonna, we're gonna remove those four bolts and we're just gonna flip it upside down. The wiring harness has enough room in it to do that so you're not stressing any of the wires. So put a towel or something on your dash, that way you don't scratch your dash with the sharp corners of the radio or scratch your radio for that matter if you have anything on your dash. So the four, let me get the camera real quick and I'll show you the four 10 millimeter bolts. Let me just get the camera disconnected from the truck. The bolts are, there's two here, and then you're gonna need an extension because the other two are back in the corners. There's one way back in there, and then one way back in there. Um, so you're gonna need probably at least, I would say at least a six to eight inch extension. I think the one I use is actually 10 or 12. So remove those four bolts, flip the radio upside down, and then we'll get to work on the wiring. Okay, when you loosen up those two back bolts, the ones that are way behind there that you have to use the extension for, if your um, socket set is not magnetic, you may need um, something like this. They don't always come out attached to the uh, to the socket, so if it's not magnetic. So I have this ex ex magnetic extension that I'm just going to stick back in there and grab the bolts so we don't lose them or they don't uh, you know fall down anywhere. So there it is right there. All right, so let me go ahead and get this other one out and I will show you the rest of the radio to, to pop that out. Once you have those four 10 millimeter bolts removed, all you do is, um, it's just pop clips. So you just pop it out like that. And then again, the wiring harness is loose enough to where you can just flip it right upside down set it on the towel on your dash. So now we're ready to um, start the wiring. Okay, so the only thing I've done so far off camera is run the long RCA extension, the one um, wiring harness that has the red pigtails on each end. So I'll show you exactly what I did. I did it off camera just to save time. It's not hard to do at all. So I'll show you exactly how I ran it. So I, I decided to go through the passenger side. It just, it gives you, a, you have a lot of space behind this panel to work. There's a lot of empty space back there that you can see. You can do it on the driver's side as well. Either way is, is okay. Again, this is just how I chose to do it. So I took my wire fish um, and I ran this end back through. I don't know if you can see it, but you can get, there's an opening right back in there that will take the wire and harness out. It pops out right there where the radio would be. All right, so then from there, I just ran it all the way down. And then if you look, again, I don't know if it's gonna show up on camera, but when you're looking down through there, there's a spot where you'll see daylight. Again, I just took my wire fish. I'll show you. I just took this, my wire fish, and I fed it down through 
again when you're looking i don't think it's going to show up on camera well but when you're looking down there you'll see a little opening where you could actually see daylight popping through so just use your wire fish and feed the wire down through there so once you get it down here it's going to pop out up on our let me see if i can get my flashlight real quick it'll pop out back in there somewhere <laughs> you can see it kind of hanging down there and then from there there is a grommet um let me see there's a grommet and i'll show you where it is underneath the hood as well but up there again i don't think it's going to show up on the camera i apologize it's not gonna it's not really going to show up on the camera well but you can't miss it it's a huge rubber grommet that'll come out to the engine bay so again i just use my wire fish pop the hood real quick and right down in right down there you can see the big rubber grommet that i fed the wire through so i'm just gonna i didn't zip tie it yet obviously we're just getting started but i'm just gonna run it zip tie it along this this cord here and then Here's the other end, again, the other end that has the red pigtail. All right, so that's the only thing I've done off camera so far. So let's get back in uh, behind the radio. Okay, now that you have that long RCA extension run through the firewall, one end is underneath the hood waiting to be connected to the camera. The other end is in the truck. Um, the only other thing I did off camera was I did run all the wiring and I did that off camera just to save time on the video. The other reason is it's going to vary depending on where you want to put your switch and whether you want to do it on the passenger side or driver side. So I did do all my wiring on the passenger side. And again, just make the connections like I showed you on the table. Um, I ran all my wiring. The one thing I had to do actually, because I'm going to put my switch right here behind the shifter, the platinum, I don't have any empty slots anywhere on the platinum. Platinum. Um, if you do have an empty slot, the switch that they send you will fit into the um, the the area that you have an empty and empty space. Unfortunately, again, the platinum doesn't have any empty spaces, so I, I have to make my own area. I'm going to mount it. I actually bought an aftermarket switch panel that's going to go right here behind the shifter. Because I had to do that, I did have to run extensions on my wiring. So what I mean by that is down here, if you see, again, I had to run all my wiring is ran down the passenger side popped out down underneath the glove box and then up underneath this piece here and all the wires are popped out right here so what i had to do was the wiring from um anytime backup camera the harnesses it were they weren't long enough so i did have to add um some extra wiring now i didn't have six different colors of wiring so down here it's just all red and black but what i did was i took masking tape green masking tape and i labeled um, you know, what I connected to what. So this, just for example, you know, this one right here, I have that that's coming from the green wire up above. Uh, you know, you you know what I'm saying. So I, I labeled everything like what's coming from the blue, the gray, uh, just so I don't lose track of, of what I had to do. So if you have to run extensions like I did to get to the area you're going to mount the switch, just make sure you do that. Keep it organized and make sure you know what wire is coming from what. So now that you have all the wiring in place, the next the next step is to connect the two wiring harnesses to the back of the radio the stereo so i'm going to take a picture for you i'll post it on the screen right now to show you the two connections that we're going to be disconnecting but again with the rate the radio is flipped upside down it's going to be this one and this one but I, I will throw the picture up on the screen just so you can get a good look i'm going to use needle nose players um hemostats actually to get these two clips out just because it's a small space and uh, it's just a little bit easier working with the players. So the one on the right that you're working with is gonna be the harness that has the red and orange wires on it. All right, so that's gonna be the one that's going on the right. So again, you just pop the, the factory clip out of there, take the, um, the harness from Anytime Backup Camera, replace it in there, and you want to make sure they fit in nice and snug. Make sure you feel it kind of click in place. 
I don't know if you heard that on camera, but I felt it and I heard it click. So then you just take the factory um, wiring harness, plug it into the other end of the anytime backup camera. And again, just make sure you feel it and hear it click into place just like that. Now that harness is done. So the other harness is going to be the one. It's actually you have three big harnesses in the middle of the stereo. The one the next one is going to be the one that's in the middle. So let me just slide that out real quick. And again, if you have hemostats or needle nose pliers, they are much easier to work with instead of trying to get your fingers in these tight spots. So same thing, pop out the factory one. Now this wiring harness is the one that has the blue and the gray wiring on it and also the um, RCA extensions with uh, that go to the relay. So just pop that end into it. Let me just see what angle I'm gonna get. Here we go, we can go this way. So pop the anytime harness into there, feel it and hear it click. And then just take the factory. And again, there it's so many wires. It's, it's kind of a mess of wiring, but once you're all done, you'll never see it again. So not that big of a deal. It's just a little bit tough to work with and get your fingers on all these tight spots. So then just same thing till you feel it and hear it click. All right, so that's the only, the only connections we have to make on the back of the radio. So now the only other thing I'll show you here, the relay, which again, remember you have that third RCA that comes, it's not connected to anything. So you're gonna take the other end of that long RCA that you ran through the firewall. That's where you're gonna connect to the relay, just like that. All right, so then the green, um, the green wire coming off of the relay, again, I had to make a wiring harness just because I didn't have enough wire. So it's actually red here, but you can see I have it labeled green. So I know, I don't wanna confuse you. Again, I know there's wires going everywhere. Just make sure if you do have to use any other wiring, just make sure you label it so you know what's what. So now the relay, you do have to mount somewhere behind the radio. So what I'm gonna do is there's a there's a white piece of plastic way back in the back here. I don't know if you could see it on the on the camera, but you can't miss it when you're looking in there. I just put a little piece of strong double backing tape, double sided tape on there. So I'm gonna take the relay and I'm just gonna mount it back in there. Out of the way, the tape is gonna be plenty strong enough to hold it. And again, I don't have to worry about the wires getting stressed or anything. There's plenty of room there. So, all right. So then you just kind of take this mess <laughs> of, of wiring, kind of tuck it all up underneath there. Or I'm sorry, behind there. Just make sure nothing's going to get pinched when you reinstall the, the stereo. And um, once that's done, you are ready to put the stereo back, back in place. Um, and then again, the only thing left to do now on the inside of the truck is take the wiring that's down in here and connect it to the switch. So just again, color to color, gray to gray, blue to gr blue to blue, orange to orange, um, and then ground to ground. You, again, just connect it like you did, like I showed you on the table. Um, you, you can't really mess this part up there. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this off camera um I, again i'm just going to save time on the video nothing to really show you here just connect the color to color and then i'll i'll pick up when we're back up underneath the hood one other thing i wanted to mention guys the rca connections i am actually going to take some electrical tape and tape them together just so i don't have to worry about them coming apart all right so i just wanted to throw that in the video and then of course i am going to zip tie all the wiring um, you know, behind her, I'm going to, I'm going to clean it up a little bit, zip tie it, and then, uh, put the radio back in. But I, I wanted to add that to the video real quick, just to show you, I would suggest, cause these, these aren't really that tight. They do separate pretty easily. So I would take some electrical tape or something like that and, um, secure those connections together. Okay, last thing I wanted to show you before we do go underneath the hood, that's where I ran my ground to for the relay and for the switch. All right. So again, as I showed you on the table, you just connect the ground wires from 
the relay and the switch and then run a wire from that connection over to here. Um, there's that's where I did it anyway. There's a number of places you can ground it on the frame So but that's where I did my ground for the inside of the truck. So let's go up underneath the hood All right guys here we are underneath the hood I had to pull the truck in the garage and uh, Close the door turn the heat on it is absolutely freezing here in Northeast PA for May 11th But anyway, so here we are under the hood the long RCA extension that has the yellow RCA and the pigtails that we ran through the firewall um, I don't know if you can see it, but I just kind of zip tied it. Let me see if I can get you a look. I just kind of zip tied it and put it in these white clips right there. Zip tied it to the, um, the, the cable that's right there. Ran it alongside the, um, the inner part here. Popped it out right here in this opening. And then just, I, pop, I took the grill off to show you guys what I did. So just zip tied it along the way. Zip tied it to this wiring harness here. And then here's the other end of the long cable that we ran through the firewall. So if you remember, it has the yellow RCA um, attachment and then the red pigtail. So the yellow end connects to the yellow RCA of this harness, the one that has the yellow and red. So the yellow goes to yellow. The pigtail goes to the red wire off of this. If you remember the the other end uh, of this piece here, it has a red and black on it. So the red pigtail goes to the red. The black is what's going to go direct to the battery, which you can see I already did. I ran it right to the negative terminal of the battery. And then the black RCA connects to the red right there. And then this piece goes to the camera. That's all there is to it. So before I did that, before I put the grill back on and everything, I just wanted to show you the, the front of the truck. So I'm going to go ahead and get the camera mounted. I'll show you where I'm, where I'm deciding to put that. And then, um, you know, we'll, we'll show you the finished product. All right, before I show you where I mounted the camera, I just wanted to point one other thing out. These, the green loop and the white loop here that you see that are cut on my wiring, these are not going to be cut when you first take it out of the package. The reason mine are cut, I, I wanted to explain what happened here. So if you look down here at the one sticker that's on the packaging um, where it says if your image is mirrored, which means if it's basically re um, not upside down, if it's reversed, if what's if you're looking at the screen and what's on the left of your screen is actually on the right in reality, that's what they mean by mirrored. So it says cut the white wire to mirror cut the green to remove the lines so when i first installed this and looked at the image my image was mirrored and i had the lines on it the distance lines um just like you have on your backup camera to show you how far things are away so obviously i did not want my image mirrored the reason they do that is in case you put this on the back of your truck you you would want it mirrored but obviously i put it on the front so i did not want it mirrored so when i cut the white wire which is what it told me to do it did not fix the image. It actually got rid of my lines, which it tells you to cut the green to get rid of the lines. So basically the instructions on my package were the exact opposite. I had to cut the green to remove the lines, or I'm sorry, I had to cut the green to fix the image. I had to cut the white to remove the lines. So I just wanted to point that out. Um, I'm not sure if this was just a, you know, a misstep on their end. I, I really honestly don't know what happened. They do offer two different cameras on their website and I'm thinking maybe the other camera, um, I believe they call it camera A. I got camera B, They <laughs> camera A, Maybe they have to do, you know, maybe the wires reversed on that camera. So just pay attention to what camera you get. Make sure you check that out on their website and maybe even call and ask them, you know, before you go cutting wires. Or if you don't want the lines and you don't want the, the image mirror, just cut both like I did, um, you know, and again, it fixed my image and I don't have the lines. So if I ever decide to do that, I want the lines, I'll just reconnect the white wire and I'll be good to go. So just wanted to point that out. So, it, um, you know, if you want the lines or whatever the case may be, just wanted to point that out so you know. Um, one other thing I'm going to mention real quick before I show you where I put the camera, I did tidy up the wiring a little bit more. I actually, um, instead of having the wiring hanging down, you know, behind the grill like I had it, I mean, it was zip tied. It wasn't going to go anywhere, but I went back and I actually ran it underneath this piece right here. There's actually a pretty thick wiring harness underneath there already. So I just zip tied it up underneath there. That way you can't see any wiring. Even if you look through the grill right now, you can't see any wiring hanging down. And then what I did with the extra wiring, I just zip tied it right 
there to that big thick wiring harness there so all right so just wanted to point that out as well so to the camera here's where i mounted it this is where i decided to go with it i did move it around and i highly suggest you guys do that um because it does obviously you know if you want it tilted or angled or whatever the case may be just kind of move it around i had my wife hold it um you know in certain spots i, I tried it up here i had it down here i moved it around a little bit until i found you know where i was happiest with it so it is slightly off center which i'm extremely anal with stuff like this and that may end up bugging me a little too much the reason it is if you look right there, there's actually a rib that connects this down to this piece on the grill. So I had to move it over a little bit. If that bugs me enough, which I known me, I think it probably will. Um, I may end up just removing that rib and sliding it over in the middle. Um, but again, this, I'm happy with it for right now. It's probably going to bug me and I'll probably end up moving it, but it is what it is. So, all right, guys. So thanks for watching. I really appreciate it. Stay tuned for, I'm going to be doing my exhaust and my intake install. As soon as they get here, they should be here in a week or two. Um, so we'll be doing the install video on those and obviously review videos as well on the exhaust and the intake that I went with. So stay tuned for that. Appreciate each and every one of you watching. Thanks, uh, thanks again and take care. Leave, leave any comments, questions, concerns, um, you know, below and we'll get them addressed. And, uh, you know, I do try to get to everybody who comments on the videos if you have any, you know, questions or anything about the install. So thanks again, guys. Appreciate it.